Hello and welcome. Here we go. We're gonna uh, do this work. Now what we're doing is um, creating this page right here. Um, the background. I'm gonna demonstrate the background and then uh, in this class you receive um, the primary focal point, um, the secondary focal points, and uh, the third focal point. Okay? So there you have it. Um, I want to just talk to you about a couple of things before I do the demo. And that is um, that it's a one page spread, obviously, as you've seen, it's in your altered book. So you don't have to use the focal points presented. You can certainly use whatever you want. My main thing is to show you the acrylic alcohol uh, technique for the backgrounds. Um, and of course, uh, again, you can also use whatever colors you want. So it's only a matter of time is what I call this. And I do have a little message. Um, it's very phallic, yes, indeed. And there's an explosion here. So it's only a matter of time refers to if you don't use a condom, it's only a matter of time before maybe you get pregnant or maybe either you contract a sexually transmitted disease. I know this is really weird, but it's um, kind of a message uh, for younger generations, uh, people who are married or in very solid relationships that aren't worried about pregnancy or disease certainly don't have to worry about that. But this is a little bit of a political statement. So there you go, my political statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here as an example of what it just looks like without a back, uh, without focal points and detail uh, embellishments on top of it. You can see it's very cool looking. We're working with three colors, so I'm going to show you the three colors right now. Um, we are going to be working with this uh, turquoise blue, okay, and varnish okay then our second layer we will work with this um, rose okay and the alcohol and I am just using a basic alcohol that I get from the grocery store and then our third layer I'm using uh, yellow ochre so those are the three colors that I am working with um, the other the only other thing I am working with is just water okay so here we go uh, let me put these focal points aside we'll come back to them so uh, there's a lot of drawing a lot of drawing time in this project and so you can't be uh, impatient with it you let it dry naturally without a blow dryer that's really really important all right so let's begin and so we're working with our first layer and our first layer is the um, turquoise blue and the varnish and I'm going to put it right onto my uh, um, substrate here uh, you could put it on a side dish or, of course, right onto your journal page. But you just need, not a lot, just enough to cover the page. That looks like it might be enough. And then you put equal parts of the varnish. Oops, the wind just blew off a couple of things from my desk, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't worry about pre-mixing the varnish and the... Um, Uh, paint because it's just going to do it right here. So we're going to just give it a good coat. And I love this color of turquoise. I think it's just really beautiful. Okay. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice uh, thorough drying. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this off to the side. And let it dry. 
All right, so now we're back and this is nice and dry. So now we're ready to work with layer two. And layer two is going to be this and alcohol. So we have a little bit of mixing to do, so I'm just gonna show you that. So we're gonna use water also. So I'm gonna put just a little dab of the rose colored in here. Really, we don't need hardly anything at all, you see? Just a dab of that. And then we're going to put just a little bit of water, okay? just to mix it up and make it into a soup. Now, for this technique, it is the water that is key. And here I'm gonna put my alcohol, okay? We don't need a lot of that either. I got a brush just for the alcohol. All right, and let's mix up the pink. Make sure it's soupy, because that's what we want. We want it to be nice and soupy. Okay. Now, using a brush this big is going to make what's called cells appear on this page. But I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. So, we're taking our watered down acrylic, which you know, rarely we water down, and we're just going to paint it over. The first layer Once we have it painted, then we're going to take our big brush and just dip it into the alcohol and splatter. And watch what happens. See how wherever the alcohol goes, the paint separates and what's called cells form. All right, so now at this point, we are going to set that aside and allow that to completely dry. Don't blow it dry. Let it to completely dry. But here we go. And here's layer two. And you can see how the cells have dried and they leave this cool pattern on the page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to our third color. And in this case, we are going to use our yellow ochre. And um, instead of the brush, I am going to use alcohol in a spray bottle. Now that's gonna give smaller cells and you're gonna see the difference, okay? Um, there's two different looks. But we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our yellow and put some yellow, oops, that's a little too much, but okay, it is what it is. And we're gonna take our water and just mix in a little bit of water. Okay, I think that'll be enough. All right, you can see Now we're just gonna paint this over layer one and two. Really gives a beautiful look. This color, I love this color over, as a finishing color. Really the key to this technique is watering down your acrylics. Don't do this with watercolors, by the way. It just won't work. It comes out looking pretty bad. All right. Now, instead of using the um, instead of using the brush and the alcohol, we're going to use uh, alcohol in a spray bottle. And watch what happens. So you see that? See how the cells are much tinier? I'll bring you closer so you can so you can really see it. 
See, isn't that cool? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit that aside to dry also and come back when it's all done. All right, here we are. Um, we're completely dry. And so now it's time to work with our bullet points. Now let me just share with you a couple of things. If you're going to do this, you're obviously doing it in your journal, uh, your altered book. So on your handouts, I have directions on what to do. You know, that this is the focal point. You're going to fussy cut. Fussy cut means you cut it out perfectly, no white. And then you're going to cut out this. And you're going to paste that on top right you're going to paste that you're going to position it and paste that right on top see that my bullet's a little different but i have it so that the orange and the yellow kind of are around the head the very tip and then the explosion so just glue that to this and then glue both of them down onto your page first then the next the secondary uh, focal points are your bowl and your pile of condoms. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and you're going to fussy cut out the bowl and you're going to fussy cut out the pile of condoms and you're going to glue that into the bowl. Then you're going to take the bowl and you're going to glue it at the base just like that. These are exact same sizes as what I'm showing you. And then the last thing you do is you're going to fussy cut your, your uh, clock out. Now, I didn't cut this out because it was too much to worry about. I didn't cut out the knobs. I didn't cut, I didn't worry about the wire. I, I just went straight around, okay, and made it easy on myself. You do what you want. And then you can see that I glued it down, okay? Once it all dried, I, I used the Mod Podge. Once it's all dried, then I used a black Sharpie and all I did was some doodling around it. Um, and I also used my handy dandy Stabilo pencil because you know, that's the perfect outliner, right? And I outlined everything, including the sun rays. And then I used my aqua agua water pen and then just smeared up those lines just a tiny bit there's my agua smeared them up just a tiny bit and I also went around the edges with my stabilo and smeared those to give it a distressed look and there you have it so that's the way I just demonstrated it and then uh, let me find that other one real quick because this is with um, a brush on all la layers so, so you can see a difference you can clearly see a difference um, on how uh, they turn out but they're all so very different and beautiful and your color combination make sure you choose really contrasting colors uh, the the bottom layer, of course, being the darkest, then middle, and then something that's a light accent on top. So sometimes experiment, but it's fun to do it. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and have fun, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.